welcome back to my channel if you are seeing this face for the very first time i welcome you in a beautiful way today oh please don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel cm esther story writer and also follow my facebook page cm esther story writer thank you today i will read to you episode three she's a prince oh i'm sorry for the delay i know you guys have been expecting it i'm sorry for the delay it won't happen again please check it out see you next time bye the king received a letter from a village far away he read king Kobim, i am the king of the great village called balama I sent you this letter to wish you congratulations on your 26 years on June. You are such a coward. You've forgotten. You've challenged me when we were both prince. We were both friends and I told you I have no reason whatsoever to fight or bring war to your village. You asked me if I have anything I'm interested with in your village. I said yes, I do. But you never asked me what it was. You told me once you are signed and take over the throne, I should ask for it. I didn't say a word after that day. You know why? You took away that one thing before I can even ask for it. I have been thinking for years how and when will it be the right time to take my revenge. You should notice I caught ties with you long time ago. I'm ready now to take my revenge, but I won't fight with you for old time friendship. Now, I will tell you what it was. Even though I don't need it again, what I want is just one precious human being in your village, Loli. You stole her away from me. Listen, I planted a spy at your palace immediately when you took the throne. You love him like a friend, and I know you must have been looking for him now. My information for you is that he's dead. I don't accept betrayers in my kingdom. After you told him the secret of the golden stick and its edat, he took your golden stick which symbolized the existence of your village and I'm with it now, which means I am now your king. I gave you two months to enjoy that seat you called a throne. And mind you, Kobim, don't bring war to my village. Even if I don't have a son who is as brave as your son, I, King Lambom, I am still a great warrior if you send your son to me, I promise you his head. You know a coward like you is not my match in every way. I have soldiers who are hungry for war. And with what your right hand told me, your son is the only brave soldier you have. Don't try me. Don't dare me. King Cobim shouted with hunger. Oh, you promised me my son's head. He faced one of the guides. Call me the prince. The king and the prince are seen talking alone. Prince, dad, you are going nowhere. I won't let you stoop so low just because of one rude king. No way. Not when I remain the prince will I let you go for war. King, my son, I want to show King Glambom of Balama that I am not a coward. I am not interested in taking over his village, that's selfishness, but I will teach him a lesson. I will fight him till he accepts defeat. I ate back when we were young. I really want to fight him. Let me tell you a story on how I met King Lambom, a friend who gave me a permissive will. Once upon a time, there exist three friends, Prince Lambom, Prince Cobim, and a young girl named Loli. Prince Lambom said to Loli, Prince Lambom, Loli, why are you this beautiful? I know this river is the only river that separates our village, even though our village is so far from each other, but for some reason, I and Cobim with you met here. This river is a place where we can throw away our true identity and be us. But even though my village is bigger than yours, I searched everywhere looking for just one person who is as beautiful as you, but I found no one. Lily, 
smiling. Lambom continued. Please, Lily, we have known each other for long. We met before Kobim came alone. Lily, please be my wife. My father, the king, will die soon and I will be the king. Imagine you as my queen. How beautiful will it be? We will no longer meet by this riverside every fourth day of the week. We will always be together. Lolly, what about Cobim? You did not talk about Cobim. Cobim, why don't you say anything? Respond to Lambom. Cobim, Lambom knows what he's talking about. Lolly, I will tell you everything you don't know about me. Lambom is like a brother to me. I came here always because sometimes I feel like running away from home. So I ran as far as I could. I ran because all my younger sister hates me. You know, all the kids that came before me were killed for the gods. All the queen left the palace after that. When I was born and the head nurse announced me, I was told the queen and concubines came back. And with surprise, they all gave birth to girls and left again, leaving their daughters, which are my younger ones. They ate me, all of them. They blamed me for the death of five girls that came before me, so I wished to die. But later, I thought of running. When I got to this spot, I met Lambo. He was so nice to me, he never said he was a prince. I also did not let him know. We came here every day until I met you on the fourth day of the week. Lambom saved me then. So if he did not remember mentioning my name in a simple discussion like this, I don't care. Besides, he said nothing wrong. He gave me hope to remain the prince. If he wants to marry you, that has nothing to do with me. I don't care, even though I already confessed my feelings to you. I take it back. I love you, but Lambam matters to me. Lolly shouted. Does that mean you should sacrifice me? You already said you will inform Lambam about us. Do I look like shit to you? I have loved you for long. Lambam is my friend, my best friend, but you mean a lot to me. I appreciate Lambo for letting me know how he felt about me. He's a brave man, unlike you. She left. Lambo. <laughs> Cobim, don't mind her. I was even joking with her, but she took it really serious. Cobim, really? Lambo, yes. She's all yours. Did you love her? I mean, are you truly in love with her? Cobim, no. He laughed. Lambo, no? You mean no, like no? Cobim, I mean no, like I like her, but I love you. Lambom, he laughed. There is nothing like, like, just love her. Cobim, okay, I love her, but I love you more. I kept thinking, I wish you were a girl. <laughs> Lambom, let's practice. Cobim, okay, let me pick my stick and make it fun. They started fighting. Cobim did not take it in a serious way but Lambom was eating him hard shouting coward don't be a coward Cobim started bleeding but was still smiling back to the normal scene King Cobim shouted me coward I should have smashed you in the head Prince Kelvin so this is because of the queen I really don't blame your friend if it was anyone even me I will also give you a permissive will but he has gone real far with this. Once you let go of something, you must not look back. This happened before I was born. Ho! Oh, even still, I'm not in support of you going to war. King Cobim, a fool that I've respected all my life, valued and even missed. I went to the river every fourth of the week to search for him till I got tired of the long journey. I treated him like a brother. I like him so much and even wish he was a girl, not knowing he owed grudges against me. <laughs> he gave me go ahead to marry your mother. He was happy when I and Loli started dating. He disappeared. I even went to his village. It is so far. I told them I'm a prince, but I was not allowed into the palace. It was frustrating. I wait for him to come back for him to celebrate with me when I became the king. It was such an ungrateful element, a bloody fool, and I will teach him a lesson. My son, 
You can't stop me from going. Prince Kelvin, will you still accompany me to this war? King Kobim, yes, I will. Prepare. Tell all the soldiers, this is no joke. It means a lot to this village. Arrange them, those that will go to war and those that will guide the village and palace. It must be a success.